AIDS is one of the most deadly diseases in the world. According to the World Health Organization, roughly 33 million people are infected. The first case was seen in the early 80s, and since then, more than 30 million people have died from the disease. This dramatic situation led the Vatican and the Good Samaritan Foundation to hold a conference titled The Centrality of Care for the Person in the Prevention and Treatment of Illnesses Caused by HIV and AIDS. The Vatican Secretary of State, Cardinal Tarcisio Bertone, gave the opening remarks. He said that focusing on the patient should go further than providing just medical needs, but rather the patient's other problems should also be addressed. When the person who brings home the bread is ill, the family goes without food. So addressing the whole person also means helping them in their problems, helping him with a good diet that along with therapy can if not cure the disease, at least improve the patient's health. The Catholic Church runs 117,000 health centers that treat patients with AIDS all over the world. According to the World Health Organization, in 2009, nearly $16 million were used for AIDS research and treatments. About 200 experts from 26 countries attended this meeting. Together, they analyzed ways to offer patients in developing countries the most effective drugs. The key is to not only find a treatment, but also spreading that treatment as much as possible. Therefore, it's necessary that the drugs are low in cost, especially in the southern countries of the world. Currently, only 35 percent of patients in third world countries have access to treatment. That means roughly 10 million people don't have any type of access to medication. It's a situation thousands of doctors and the Catholic Church struggle with every day.